hello everyone welcome back so as promised we are back with one more video and um, this is video is about the coding questions we have already uploaded the uh, aptitude questions based uh, video and also the technical questions those gives an idea to you like what kind of level of questions are being asked and what all to topic based are being asked and uh, i would recommend you to just go to the video take out those terminologies read about that and also watch some other videos some other uh, uh, read some of the articles learn about those terminologies and go for the exam just don't watch that single video and go for exam that will not help and uh, same way for this coding as well this would just give an information for for you all okay so yeah without wasting much further time uh, let's start okay the first question write a program to analyze the characters in the string str and find n which is the number of occurrence of highest ascii value then print the character having lowest ascii value okay in str n times okay let me just explain the question okay um so we are giving an str as an input which is a string and string can have lower case upper case the different different kind of characters first thing we need to do is find the highest ascii value character ascii value is the number that is given for each and every character so there are different numbers so we need to find from the complete string which character has the highest value to find, we need to find that and we need to find the frequency of that character which is n frequency and the next step is we need to find the lowest ascii number character from that string once we get that uh, we need to finally print the lowest one into n times we need to pin the lowest one n times that's the question here so yeah let's try to do this in java first okay mm. yeah uh, let me, yeah scanner is equal to new scanner system dot in okay mm. let's take a string variable as next this switch store the input given by the user and as we are as we will be traversing like each and every character it bits to convert to a character array yeah and in java for the, getting the ascii values you can directly convert the char data type to int data type then we'll get an ascii value or it's suppose an element uh, okay let me take this mm, yeah so let's suppose an element int x is there and we have char ch equal to some character a so if you do x is equal to ch that means we are converting the character type to an int type so in that case the ascii value of a will be copied to element x so ascii value of a is 65 so element x will be having the value 65 so same way we are going to, uh, are going to do the same logic we have an character array we'll maintain an integer array and we'll copy to that array then we'll get the complete ascii values of all the characters from that we can pick out the highest one and the lowest one then the frequency then multiply into frequency simple so let's do that int ascii array is equal to new int of uh, cast dot length okay for i less than cast dot length mm, ascii array of i is equal to cast of so a ask array will have that mm, to get the highest and lowest it's better to sort the complete array we will be using array dot sort sorry 
arrays dot sort of ASCII array. So by doing that, after this step, uh, complete array will be sort, and the last element will have the highest ASCII value, and the first element will have the lowest. One. Okay. So we got that. So to get the last uh, element, let's take ca last character is equal to um, ASCII array of ASCII array dot length minus one. Okay, and this is of int right, and it's vice versa. So if you are converting the int to char, then you will get the character one. I mean the the character that is being given as input. Okay. Mm, now we have the last character. We need to get the frequency. That's the next step. For that, let's create a function. Public static int mm, get frequency. Frequency int ar int data from that array. We need to search the data. Let's take a counter variable then for i array of length if array of i equal to equal to data. Oh, one second. Where was I? Yeah. Just a second. Array of i is equal to equal to data. Then um, count plus equal to 1 and we just need to return count okay mm, yeah this is done we got the frequency let's get the frequency as well. int frequency is equal to get frequency of ASCII array and ASCII array of the last element that is the highest one ASK of length minus 1 that's it we got the frequency and all so we need to get the the least character low character is equal to care of ASK array um, of as 0 that is the first character now we just need to print the character for i i less than frequency that many times we need to just system dot out dot print ln of low character. That's it. Let's try to run this and we'll remove the other extra variables. Mm, what's the uh, input we got here? Above the height. Okay. Above the height. I hope it's correct. Yeah, we got the required output. So we'll just uh, remove some extra variables here. String str go sc dot next str add. So instead of that, we can just have sc dot next here itself, and we'll remove this one. Okay, in task character for int that is good. Last character frequency low character. We can completely make this into one character one. Uh, low character instead of this low character, we can just keep care of ASCII array of 0 this would reduce this variable then instead of frequency you can just directly have get frequency of ASCII array and ASCII array of minus 1 sorry not minus 1 ASCII array dot length of minus 1 yeah this will be the frequency so this way we get the complete result. Let's try to code this in Python. So in Python we already have the counter has this uh, mechanism sort. We have different different functions. So let's take take the input as of input, and uh, let's convert this into list equal to list of s. Mm, then later we need to travel sort find the ones. We can just do list dot sort and we can just print list of 0 into 
list dot count dot list of minus one and we can just do sep equal to backslash n. This will do in the next line. Let's try to print this as well. There are different different mechanisms as well. I just did it in this way. Run. Okay. Uh, what's the one above the height? Okay. Yeah. A. That's good. So we got a required output. Hmm. Here also, instead of come uh, one more list, we can just do list directly through the input. And here, s s dot s s of zero s of minus one. That's it. You will get our required result. So this is about our first question. And the next question, our last question for the video. You were given a pointer to the head of the node of a linked list. Add an integer to the uh, list. Create a new node with the given integer. Insert this node the tail of linked list. Return the head of the node. Okay. And linked list formed after inserting this new node. Okay. The given head pointer may be null, meaning that the initial list is empty. This is like an H use case that you need to maintain this condition as well. Simply, we'll have the, all the skeleton, the complete body uh, of the code we'll have. We'll just need to uh, fill the function that is insert node at tail in the exam. So, let me just give that to you. Is this Python right? Link list, where was it? Yeah. So, this way or any kind of way, we'll have the complete. Uh, class main we also have some elements here inside that and everything you will be just need to fill out this function which is insert here you can just uh, keep it as insert node at tail insert node at tail yeah that's it so uh, you need to just fill out this function in the exam let's see uh, let's create uh, node of data that is our new data and first condition that is education to check if list dot head equal to equal to null if this is the first element then it will be null then in that case list dot head equal to new node otherwise else mm, it will be list of temp so not list link list of temp is equal to list dot head yeah this would give the pointer uh, one second list list and here it would be node yeah we'll be having the pointer yeah uh, we have the pointer. So what I am doing here is uh, Let me just clear this off One second Yeah Okay so we have a link list which has the data field and a pointer field as everyone are aware. So first check we what we did is if we don't have any kind of thing, it's just a null. And in that case, we'll just add the link list to a new node, semicolon, yeah, new node. Then link list will have just one node, which is the data that will be given as input, and this will be obviously null. That's how it will be. Otherwise, if it has some kind of data, first thing we need to get the pointer. I mean, the address of this. With this pointer, how much ever nodes we have, we can just traverse the pointer from here to here. We'll check till here, and because our question is to add the element at the last of the list, so we'll check. And once we are sure that this is the last element, we'll just stop our pointer. Okay, one second. Yeah, 
okay so if once we are sure that this is the last uh, node then we'll stop our pointer here add the new node here and return that's it so this is how our complete code should be okay now let's uh, try to yeah else this is then we have the temp okay now as discussed let's try to traverse it mm, for that i'm going to use while loop while temp dot next not equal to not equal to null till then just to temp equal to temp dot next so just traverse out once we reach the end then at last we can just give temp dot next is equal to new node okay and we will be just returning the list that's it this is how uh, the uh, code should be there it's very basic simple it's the basic of a linked list question so i would recommend to go with the linked list adding at the starting adding the middle adding at the last removing deal so all kind of such basic uh, linked in uh, linked list uh, operations you can i think uh, browse uh, geeks for geeks website once you open the home page that's the main page for the linked list using java or what kind of kind of language so in that the first uh, maybe a 10 uh, questions will be of the basic operations of linked list so i would recommend you to go through all those 10 that would solve uh, such cases uh, and you can uh, quote whatever case may asked in the exam so this about these two questions and uh, as i said again these are the level of the question that will be that will be asked so just try to research more on the questions uh, prepare very well it's a very good opportunity so that's for this video and uh, once uh, uh, based on the responses on doll and based on tomorrow there's a different slots there in tomorrow so based on that we'll also make a video how exam was what level of questions have been asked we will not reveal any kind of question that's not uh, legal so we'll uh, do all those and uh, we'll again make a new video based on the new topic that have been asked so till then stay tuned and whoever having that slots tomorrow um, all the very best to him utilize this opportunity very well so that's it for this video mm, thank you